Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 51, first round match. We've got Dionysian, um, who is one of the better players in the world with dwarves, <laughs> taking on Enzo, who's got ogres. So, you know. Yep. Yep, it's going to be a thriller. Ogres are fantastic, they've won about three games ever in CCL, three games out of 50. Will they win the fourth one? Probably not. Hello, Kalon. Don't say it's over. Well, Jack Bull, if whoever said that isn't Dimmy, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> um, basically, Dimmy is essential for Among Us. It's just literally not even Among Us without Dimmy. Tell you what I will say though, Jack Bull, hello. And also... Also, I tell you what, Jack Bull, your NFL uh, fantasy football league's going pretty well, isn't it? Uh, do you know, off the top of the head, do you know who's uh, do you know who's been top of the league all season and has scored the most points in both playoff weeks? Hello, <laughs> um, Corpax. Um, Maybe, maybe tonight, Corpax. Maybe tonight after this, after this casting. Hello, Ansi. Doesn't matter, Jack. But I still scored the most points both both playoff weeks. Top to hundred both times. Glorious, absolute domination. Absolute domination of the postseason and the regular season. Just fucking god, I'm so good. I'm so good at things, aren't I? I'm just so good. <laughs> it really is incredible how good I am at things. <laughs> Nothing that fucking matters. <laughs> but you know, if it's if it's playing little children's games or uh, pointless fantasy football leagues, I'm brilliant. <laughs> Um, we don't know, we don't know. There's a, there's a chance that Austin Eckler um, saves it for Miss Rogue Merck. Otherwise, it will be Arnar Holt in the final. He went 7-7 during the regular season. Um, so, you know, it's a Cinderella story if he gets the final. Um, but he's, he's very much ahead as well. Um... Austin Eckler needs 25 points for Miss Rob Merck to win. So it's possible, it's certainly possible, right? Just a few tuddies. A few tuddies is possible. And Merry Christmas, Ansi, as well. And, and anybody else, who cares? <laughs> so yeah, the NFL, fantasy football has been brilliant, honestly. Thank you, Jack Ball, as much as I've been bollocksing about it. Uh, thank you very much for uh, running it and letting me be in it because I've always wanted to do it but just never never had the chance being in England. And yep, this is a game of Blood Bowl. It's happening. There's some dwarves. Almost guaranteed. I mean, it's it's oh, it's dwarves versus ogres. I mean, the fuck's that? How can you commentate on this? Like, what's the point? Literally, what's the point? <laughs> I wish I could. You know, I wish I could sell it. I wish I had Jack Bull and Volk to, on here to say how close it was, and it's uh, it's not going to be a total massacre. But you know. to be fair. 
Dwarves are slow, right? Although having all the tackle is quite good. It's not that good when they dodge on twos, but the, the thing is there's a real good chance they run the ball for the snotlings. And, you know, they, they can't stop the uh, ogres hitting them very well. But then they can hit back because they've got so much guard, so it's... it's not yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah, it's fantastic, Ansi. That's the thing, right? You know, but the problem is it means you just can't play it randomly, right? Like, that's the thing. If At least if you're an American and you're into... If, if you're into English football, you can just make a team up and then see how well you do. Whereas you need you need some some uh, other people involved to do the American ones, don't you? So like, but it is great. It's fucking great. Like it's bollocks that like literally everybody in England has fucking Haaland on their team, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Like it's it's absolutely stupid. But it's it is great. It is great the American format. Right? It's just that it makes it problematic to her. Uh, Okay. Kfog, oh wow, that's awesome. That is actually awesome, Kfog. Holy shit! <laughs> a very Scottish, uh, a very Scottish. Uh, <laughs> well wishing that. Merry Christmas to you, Ali Raider. Thank you very much. <laughs> Hello, Daedal. I like this Movement 7 Ogre. Nob sounds like Nob, lol. <laughs> He's just leaving. He's just leaving the 4 plus to hit the ball. 4-2-2 two, two, to 3-D the ball. I mean, he's not going to take it. I don't think. <sighs> Maybe he's going to take it. Is he going to take it? I guess it's just kind of a free roll, isn't it? Thanks very much, Ali Raider. Oh, it's not even 422, it's just a straight 4, isn't it? Because it's a Knobla. It was a Knobla, so yeah. God, well done. Well done, Dio, making it a 4-2 instead of a 422. He yeah, remembered the rules about Tichy. So there you go, so he does the 4 plus and hits the. Canobla and gets him, and now there's only one Canobla left. It is, but 50 50 to get the chance. Well, less than 50 50. Oh, bonehead. Diced. There's no Noblas left on the pitch. So now it's Candayo counter score, isn't it? What a thriller. What an absolute thriller. Wow. We can all appreciate the fantastic format that is CCL that guarantees Ogres qualifying every season. For thrillers like this. Who knows what's going to happen? It's definitely not over though, that's, that's one thing we all know, is that it's definitely not over. Don't say it's over. Glorious. No, I won't give in. Until Ooh. I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Glorious, thank you very much. Voro the Forgotten, staying fantastic for two. Glorious months, half a beaver pregnancy. Oh yeah. Oh, Aston Villa managed by a vampire. Well, I'm gonna have a look. You've piqued my interest. Oh, 
<laughs> he does look. <laughs> he does look quite vampire, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> he does look quite vampire-y. Oh, there was a chance. Oh, the dwarves have got the ball. What a shocker. He's got to do a couple of GFIs to score, hasn't he? But, um... Get him done now. Yep. Yeah. So then he knows what he's got to do afterwards. So now he's in and it's guaranteed. And he could have. I mean, he couldn't have. He couldn't have, Dado. <laughs> this one was over before it started. <laughs> this one was literally over before it started. Absolutely zero chance. Sub zero. This match is why uh, they named one of the ninjas in Mortal Kombat because they said what are the chances of Enzo beating Dio in CCL Season 51 and he said Sub-Zero. There you go. Is he going to GFI? I mean, he should. This is incorrect. Incorrect from Dio. Right? He should definitely GFI there. Because it's, it's, it's worse than 1 in 36 that the, this guy hits him. This is incorrect from Dio. Not GFI. Dio! Die all by all. Holy shit, even Daedal agrees on the reroll. It must have. It must be correct. Doesn't reroll that and now and now there's all there's, there's you know there's a four two to hit the ball and, and power him. Like that's way that's way higher odds than one in thirty six, right? Way higher odds. With the reroll to do it as well. Oh, will there be justice? There will be sweet justice. Get fucked, Dio. <laughs> you, oh, brilliant, you absolute idiot. <laughs> you fucking fool. <laughs> Only joking, of course. Glorious. But it's weird no, that he didn't I do the GFIs. Like, he had to do the GFIs, didn't he? Victorious. Like, just, just... And I will defend. The odds of him getting there and hitting defend. you is way higher than than you filling the GFIs. It's just, it's just wrong. It's just actually wrong from Dio, though. Which is surprising, isn't it? Uh, thank you very much, FanFox, staying fantastic for 36 months, three whole years. Nine beaver pregnancies. Unbelievable. Thank you so much, man, Fox. And hello, D, D2D. Yeah, you did. I mean, just I just I, you know, I was just trying to make make it entertaining in some fashion. Maybe that's what Dio was doing, you know, maybe Dio thought everyone casting this game is going to think it's rubbish, so I'll just, you know, I'll give people something to talk about. Wouldn't surprise me. Wouldn't surprise me. He's a bit of a meme lord, isn't he? But I mean, he should still, like, first of all, he should be at 1-0, but second of all, you know, there's a chance now, right, if Enzo just lies down. He probably shouldn't field one of his ogres. 
Literally, you should probably not field an ogre now. Because there's a chance all five, all six get cast. You could just not field an ogre. And then he will have a chance of a one turn guaranteed. And then, uh, and then he can just win, right? In Blood Bowl 3, he could save all three rerolls for the one turn as well. Huge, huge boost for, uh, like, all studies, right? In, uh, Blood Bowl 3, the multiple reroll usage. Seeing as the one turn is 99% of how they get results because they're fucking awful. <laughs> Um, he didn't get a lot of inducements, did he? Like a bribe, I think, is all he got. I feel if I don't get a bang on organ I mean, that's true, but he didn't even re-roll the banging, did he? He had to cheer for me. I'm pretty certain that the GFI was correct. Of course, we'll never know. Because there will never be a Blood Bowl AI worth anything. And even if Cyanide could program an AI, maybe they would program it to lose on purpose to get people uh, hooked and not get their uh, not get their uh, Steam refund, right? Like uh, like uh, Marvel Snap, the AI lets you win to keep you engaged. <laughs> Maybe they're actually geniuses and they've made the AI shit on purpose. It's not true though, is it? Hello, Pedro. Thank you. Merry Christmas to you too. Yes, no alias. That's what I'd do if I was there. <laughs> like it's the best chance <laughs> it's the best chance for it to not be a complete fucking failure <laughs> yeah that'd be great Dougie yeah that'd be great Oh, El Kurgo, thank you very much. Merry Christmas to you too. Ho, ho, ho. Die with Pro before Jugs or Guard, that's interesting, isn't it? That is a very, uh, very interesting player there. Dio's, you know, Dio's got some ideas, hasn't he? That, like, you know, I know I know he's a meme lord and that, and he, he says some idiotic things. But also, he, he does play really fucking good. And, uh, and, you know, like, that's interesting that he thinks Pro was better than Juggernaut or Guard on that guy, isn't it? Hello, Dr. Boogies. Yeah, it's funny, isn't it, Mordred? That's why I was always, like, that's why I was always for the, the, the season pass thing, you know? The season ticket. Like, I always thought that was a good idea, because with Blood Bowl, you don't have a huge user base. You don't have a huge prospective user base, even, right? Like, you know, you can argue that maybe everybody who plays XCOM and that could play it, but they're not going to play it, you know? Like, it's not going to... It's not going to do well, is it? Um, 
with random people. Very unlikely to, anyway. So, nickel and diming the uh And it's not even about that, it's just about, like, it's, you know, it's not, it doesn't have to be, like, a bad thing, does it? It's just you've got people, you know, who've played thousands of hours in Blood Bowl 2, and it's just stupid that you're not getting any more off them than people who don't know how Steam refunds work. <laughs> like, you know, because people who play 10,000 hours are quite likely to give you more money, aren't they? Like, even Battle Brothers has just got, like, a stupid thing where you, like, give them some money and you get a, um, you get a fancy helmet. And you give them some money and you get a fancy banner. And to be fair, I haven't paid for the fancy helmet one. But I have paid for the fancy banner one. And just, you know, just because I got a lot of hours out of it and I thought it was a great game. Very unlike me. But even I did that. So you know, if if Blood Bowl had things, they could have they could have definitely made more than what they did. It's actually pretty expensive to get the to get the helmet. <laughs> That's probably why I didn't. Um, it's a good question, Kurgle. I think twenty twenty is better. Um, for us, just because Claw Pum's gone, I think makes it better. But of course, the, the fouling makes it very variable, and maybe it's a bit shit. Um, it depends, right, there's so many formats as well. Depends format by format. Having the redrafting in, I think, is a great thing, so that, you know, to stop bullshit like Eternal Leagues. You know, like joining and being a thousand TV down and stuff. So having that kind of normalised is good. It's interesting because, you know, you really shouldn't be comparing 2020 to Blood Bowl 2, right? You should be comparing to Blood Bowl 2016, in which case I think that would be a lot closer. And I think I, I would definitely say 2016 is better than 2020. Uh, I think the splitting the passing stat is really stupid. Um, really terrible. No, I won't be in Blood Bowl 3, but you didn't ask that. You said 2020 rules. <laughs> um, also, like, the redrafting in Blood Bowl 3 will be less relevant anyway to like you know to me playing CCL and stuff and obviously in Blood Bowl 2 I'm in SFL as a league that has redrafting anyway so you know like it's 6 and 2 threes, but I think overall I think overall redrafting is a great thing for leagues to stop you know like the you know all of the big like all of the eternal leagues you know like UK BBL and all them they're all they're all just like people join and they're a thousand TV down. It's fucking bollocks, isn't it? And, and while redrafting isn't a perfect solution, at least it helps a bit in that regard. So I always lost the ball here. I don't know how. I've never played sevens and I've got no idea what it's like, no desire to ever try it. I think if you go down the sevens route, then you might as well just make a whole new game that isn't shit, you know? I feel like that would be the play. Rather than, like, you know, rather than just reducing the, 
like rather than just reducing the players on a shit game that isn't competitive, maybe make Blood Bowl 7s an actual competitive game, you know? Like that could be an idea, right? That could be an idea. Oh wow, huge Kaz. Apple fails. So that's really terrible for uh, Dio in the next round that he is guaranteed to make too. Well, he's not guaranteed now. Look, it's he's in a bit of a pickle. He's actually in a bit of a pickle now. There's loads of there's loads of ogres. Not many noblars, canoblars, but plenty of ogres. A stun there, a removal there. It's not it's not it's not looking that good for Dio now. Hello, Calcium. Merry Christmas to you. Thank you too. Thank you very much. Um, went all right, thanks. Yeah. Not the worst Christmas ever. <laughs> That's all I've got to say about that. Oh, we're going to see a dodge. A one in nine. Maybe not. Maybe he's just going to punch him. Maybe he's just going to punch him. But he's stunned firm, so this is a risky, isn't it? This is. Oh, he just gets the stun. And he can just blitz him on 2D instantly. Holy moly. Wasted the power there. Nah, it's fair enough doing, doing these first, is it? I guess. And then he could just reroll on anything but a power, I guess, is his plan. See, but by not activating these, at least they wouldn't be boneheaded. Yeah, he can't actually he can't use his reroll because he's only got one. Left. And he has to save the reroll for the one turn. Knoblars hiding behind the ogres, classic play. There's another one gone. But turn 15 for Dio. Oh, we have found a gaping hole, however. Oh, what a tragedy. Gets him down. There we go. And that is all she wrote, pretty much. There's a chance, isn't there? I think. Block this, pal this guy, and then one, two, three, four, five, GFI, GFI. So, yep, there's a chance. Can put the assist in with a snot knobler and make this a 3D. He hasn't, but he should have done. Should have made that a 3D and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 3, 5, 3, 5. But instead, he's done this 2 plus. And he's wasted his last reroll. Oh my god. Oh, that's fucking terrible. That's fucking terrible. I mean, sorry, not what I would have done, but who can say if it was good or bad? It was very tricky for the draws, wasn't it? But then they got that bonehead killed the defense. And he used his last reroll. You can't use you can't use your last reroll when your only chance to win the entire game is by throw teammate. <laughs> <laughs> like it's literally, and he actually had the shot. The fact that he didn't get turned over on his on his own drive, like he actually has a shot with a throw teammate here. Like he just can't use a reroll on it. I would quite happily use no rerolls on defense if I was him. Or maybe he's one, and then he's got a reroll for the one turn and a reroll for overtime if he wins the toss, and just try to win the double throw. Because it's fucking. Dio and Dwarves. Like, he did well. He did well on defense, to be fair. Like, he did make it close. 
but then I just don't think you can use that reroll. I just don't think you can. Maybe it was right to reroll that two plus. He's what he's gonna do for he's gonna hit, if he was gonna hit the ball back. I don't know, I think I still think it's better to keep the reroll for this. Got all the bobble box set up as much as he could. Very nice. Fails the catch, would have made it with reroll. If only he had kick teammate as well. But he doesn't. What is it with DP sneaky gear? All these people think I'm playing Blood Bowl 3. Get to cars. No. Well, I mean, that was pretty good, wasn't it? You know, Enzo did do well on defence and did well to make it 1 0. A 1 0 loss is a very good result. Um, congrats to Enzo. Uh, commiserations for Dio, has to play another round of Blood Bowl. Thanks for watching, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.